Welcome back to the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. This episode we have got Mollywan pistols, so it should be a short one because we only have two pistols to go over. Mollywan pistols have 80% splash damage, always come in elements. Take two ammo a shot, which is something I don't like about them because they have very short mag sizes. That means this here is a six shot with uh, not a great fire rate. And Torg pistols have similar splash damage and only take one ammo a shot. Um, so yeah, not not the biggest fan of Maliwan pistols in general. Just because the ammo consumption on them I think is way too high for what they do. But uh, you can match elements with them and I guess they can put out a decent amount. But I just don't think they do enough to uh, justify that ammo. So with a binary prefix or a times two prefix... It's 4 ammo a shot, which is a pretty heavy price to pay. I guess we are going to start with the Probe. The Probe is another Moxie gun. It is a typical Moxie pistol. And it has severely nerfed, well not nerfed, lowered damage. Um, you have increased accuracy, lowered magazine size. Um, this is a mission reward you get for when the... Early missions with uh, Kragans where you got to anger some of them. But uh, it it will scale up with you and you will uh, hold on to it if you uh, don't turn the quest in. And when the game first came out this had Grog-like healing but it's been uh, reduced back down to regular kind of healing. Uh, regular Moxie lifesteal most guns. So you can see here it does so little damage that... Uh, on its own, it doesn't really heal much. If I chuck a grenade at him, you know, then it's a little bit. But this is more in line with, like, your now your hails and all that stuff. But the problem is, like, hails, kittens, slow hands, they all do damage on their own. Um, this thing, because the damage is so low, you can only really use it for either melee strikes... And uh, it randomly generates every time you boot up the game, so getting a blade can be tough. Or, um, you know, chucking grenades to heal. But um, it's just not that well used because there isn't really any great dedicated melee characters in this game. And there's enough uh, survival where most characters don't need something like this. And it's a good thing because the Grog and the Ruby to a point I think were bad for Borderlands 2. They became crutches for people. And uh, the pre-sequel doesn't have those. So uh, that's kind of a good thing. But I wish when they reduced the healing on it, they would have upped the damage on it so you could use it like a regular pistol, kind of like the kitten and those guns. Because so I think Moxie guns, like the Vibra Pulse, the Hail, the Slow Hand, the Kitten, uh, uh, pretty much everything except the Ruby and Grog are quite good and quite balanced with that low, like, 2 to 4% lifesteal. But, uh... With this thing having essentially no DPS, uh, it's kind of terrible. So, but I guess they just designed it for that mission. We're not planning on people using it all game. So the only other unique we have here, we don't even have a legendary, which is kind of sad, is the hard reboot. Which uh, you kind of have your striped, almost a herald look on it. But uh, this thing here is a pretty solid gun. You get increased damage by a decent amount, and the fact that you have splash damage helps that. Uh, the increased dot and electrocute chance are cool as well. So the other thing on this is you have a big radius. So here's... that's not it. Oh, is that cryo too? Did I bring the wrong... I did, I brought that in cryo. But anyways, you can see normal size splash. Ve Fastly increase splash size on this thing. Uh, the splash damage is still 80%, but when you combine the splash with that, you can see there that's just splash, not a bullet. Let's see. This thing can do quite a bit, especially on uh, shields, and there are a lot of shields in this game, but it's its size it's big enough where you can get multiple enemies in there. So this is this is a pretty damn solid blue gun, I have to say. Um, the increased stats with no drawback is great. 
uh, more damage to take advantage of that splash is pretty awesome. And Borderlands 2, I mean, mainly on snipers, but they kept uh, feeling a need to balance the splash. So in Borderlands 2, if they would have increased the splash radius like this on a lot of guns, they would have, you know, neutered the base damage or something. But this, you got increased splash radius and increased damage and increased dot as well as dot chance, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, really no complaints here. So with uh, grenade damage boost, you can increase that splash damage, and uh, with Nisha, you can really take advantage of that between like Trick Shot and uh, Unforgiven. You can you know chain those to groups of enemies and really kind of put out the hurt, which is a pretty good way to do it. Um, if you have uh, Singularity Grenades, you can really group up enemies, so you hit a lot of them with that. Uh, Athena probably likes it quite a bit. I haven't really used this with Athena, but the big radius means you can hit more enemies, as well as the high dot chance and high dot damage she will like, because she does boost dots themselves, as well as uh, base damage and all that stuff, so... Maelstrom will really kick this up, and it should be decent at stacking, especially with the time 2 prefix, which I generally don't always prefer, but on a character like Athena, that can be a lot of dots and a uh, conduit. So, that is the hard reboot, which I think is a pretty, pretty awesome pistol, and the pro, which is a pretty lame pistol. That's really all I've got for these videos, since there's only two guns. Um... I'm not going to really test the probe because the damage is so bad. I, I might just put it on and shoot a few enemies to show you how terrible the damage is. But I think you can see that where the card is. And I'll mainly be using the hard reboot in the next episode to test it and see how it plays out in combat. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about these guns in the comments. Um, if you guys have not subscribed, please do so. I appreciate that. It helps me grow my channel. And I will see you all later. Bye.